Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have seen uh, a stream reduction method is called reduce. So we had seen there are three flavors of reduce method and how it works uh, we had seen through uh, an ex example. So in this video tutorial, we are going to look into another reduction method is called collect. Reduction of a stream can also be executed by the another terminal operation that is called collect method. It accepts an argument of type collector which specifies the mechanism of reduction. There are already created predefined collectors for most common operations. They can be accessed with the help of the collector's type. So there is a collector class collectors like utility which has been added in uh, collectors utility class which is added in JDK 1.8 and this provides you a lot of factory method and those factory methods you can use along with the collectors so let's try to understand these things through an example so here is an eclipse and here i had already created previous project is called a stream reduction demo so here let's create a another class is called a stream a stream reduction collect test and which will have a main method now here uh, for this demo purpose I am going to use this source and from this source we will create uh, different streams and will I will try to I mean explain you how collect reduction API works so here basically I'm using this class so let's create this class product class uh, in the same package and I would give the a package name same and class name is product and here I'm going to specify private int first properties price and private string and second properties na name itself and let's create a constructor so generate constructor using fields select this options and create a constructor now let's create a getters not getters yeah getters method for this so select getters and getters for this and override i'm going to override two string method as well, as well so that we can print a state of object in nice format so it's pretty simple class it's a model class which have uh, two properties uh, a constructor and constructor getter method public getter method for all properties and two string method so it's so simple class now here let's import this guy now why this guy is throwing an error okay so why this is throwing an error control shift f5 and why this guy is comma separated so error has gone now in this list list is in a slice with uh, 1 2 3 4 5 product objects now from this product list I'm going to create a different kind of a stream so I'm going to create call a stream method on it so stream dot first method I'm going to use is called map map and I'm going to call, I'm going to make use of product 
and here I'm going to use method reference and I would say get name and we can call collect method on it and collect here we can collect basically we can extract name of product from this list using after converting into a stream and we can make use of collect collectors and here collector has a uh, sorry character has a method is called to and if you say to to map to list to set lot of api so i i would say to list so this will convert into the list and this we can store in the local variable right so basically this will extract all product name right all product name and that will put into this construct uh, this list so if I you try to iterate it using for each loop and here for each here we will have to pass object of consumer so and we can print content of this list like this and here you can see so you can print product of list of products so all products is extracted from this list product name and that will kept into this list so this is the one of the huge case where we can make use of the collect method so now next there are a lot of huge cases of collector collect method so this is the one of the very first example now so basically here what we have done uh, we, we have converted a steam to a collection right like when I say collection you can convert in the collection list or set so there are different methods in collector through which you can create a list or set or map right so here we have converted into a list now next reducing to a string next I would say reduce to a string and this was the example you have converting a stream to collection stream to collection right now second example we have reduced to a string so here again I'm going to use map and again I'm going to use method reference product and method reference we can double column I can say get name again sorry reducing to a string so yes get name and again we can make use of collect method collect and here I'm going to use again collector collectors dot I'm going to use a method is called joining and here joining we can there are three flavors of joining so I'm going to use third which takes delimiter prefix and suffix so delimiter I'm going to use comma itself and prefix I'm gonna use bracket like this and suffix also I'm going to use sorry bracket like this and return of this you can store in this list and directly we can print this string right and if you look into the output so look all basically here what we are trying to do we are trying to extract name of product from this list name of product from the list and that I want to uh, convert into a string and so let me show you the output so that you can understand very well so look at here so basically here product of all name of all products have been extracted from the list and that we have kept into the 
this bracket inside this bracket and every product we have separated uh, delimiter we have specified comma so every product is separated with the comma and that is kept into the square bracket so what we have done basically from product list that is nothing but list we have converted into the list and after that just we are trying to map product name right just we want to extract product name out of product right uh, and we made use of a collect method and collector such as joining method which accepts three parameter delimiter prefix and suffix so this way you can convert you can extract and uh, name of the all products from the list and you can convert into the string so this is the second use case we have seen so basically here joining method can have from one of the three parameters right uh, delimiter prefix and suffix the hardiest thing about the joining developer does not need to check if the esteem reaches its and to the apply the suffix and not to apply a delimiter collectors will take care of those things now next things we are going to see now next thing we are going to see processing average value of all numeric elements of the string so basically here i want to calculate uh, average price average price so here to, again I'm going to call something like this so so here first of all you will have to convert a list into a steam and after that we can call a collect method on it so collect and again we, we are going to make use of collectors it's a utility class collectors and collector has a lot of api one of the api is called average average averaging int and here we want to collect average of product price okay price we can call its method like this and this output of this we can store in local variable and if you try to print sorry so average price so if you try to print it let me print out the so that is 17.2 so average is nothing but that that is sum of prices of all product and divided by number of prices so that is giving us 17.2 as the output so if you want to if you have a lot of product into list in a collection and if you want to calculate the average price of all product then you can calculate like this using uh, collect method so here basically we have done we have called I mean a stream method on the product list which is nothing but this and we have called collect method and collectors has a lot of API one of the API is called averaging int averaging long averaging double we will have method like this and we called a uh, uh, get price method on product this is called method reference so this will calculate basically average price of product and that will be stored into the local variable and that we printed over here so here basically we have seen three use cases of collect method in next video tutorial i'll see some more use cases of collect method so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video